Hey everybody, sorry for the delays. Um, so I finally finished all my running and gunning for today. So as promised, you know, we're gonna get this live prayer session in on Instagram. I still need followers on YouTube. I'm this close, this close to um, being eligible for getting my uh, my access to do a YouTube live. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna wait, hang out. What up, my brother? I see you. Thanks for joining in. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just been a crazy day. Like literally, from the minute I opened my eyes this morning, just been running and gunning from work. Had a doctor's appointment. Went back to work. Had a, another doctor's appointment. Um, so, you know, nothing crazy, nothing, you know, nothing to report, just, you know, some simple stuff, you know, things have to get taken care of, you know, as we get older, because I'm getting older, older by the minute. And um, it's just, you know, it's just been a good day. Um, you know, I was listening to somebody saying that when they were going through ministry, that at that time when it seemed so busy and so hectic, and they just want to rest, the Holy Spirit told him, this is going to be the easiest ever it ever gets. So <laughs> it's just going to keep building and building and building. And that's kind of what I'm just preparing myself for. So, you know, when God is ready to move, that I'm not falling behind, that I'm not fumbling in that season, that I'm right there in it, making the steps, making the moves and being where he needs me to be at the right place in the right time, saying the right things because I'm, you know, I'm studying my word, I'm doing my prayer time and, um, and just being obedient, um, and everything. Don't, uh, don't let the lighting distract you. I'm actually just in my car, came from my doctor's appointment. So I'm in the, in the BX. Um, and I just posted up here and, you know, the lighting's a little bit good, except this guy who's like blinding me. Uh, but, uh, that's been about it. And, um, you know, we're just going to wait for a few moments here. This is always like, the awkward moment because you're waiting for people to tap in um but you know it's cool it's cool at the same time and um you know it'll just allow me to tell people that will see this later you know what's going on so episode two i know i've been delayed over and over and over again um not realizing how much goes into this whole podcasting content creating world um especially when you're doing it on your own so um, not to be overwhelmed or anything. It's just, I need to ramp it up, but episode two, I keep getting downloads. I keep writing. And, um, again, I'm looking to get that thing pushed out before the end of this month, because once October hits, um, once October hits, I'm, I'm going to go on a fast. I'm fasting against the whole celebration, um, of these spirits known as Halloween, this whole celebration and how people just get turned up for the wrong things. Um, you know, for one whole day, for one whole day, people actually are engaging, you know, being with, with demons and, you know, opening up their spiritual windows and doors and allowing these things in. And that's all, that's all these spirits and all these things need is just, just one moment, one second to get up in there and, and just tuck away for a later time and um you know sometimes these things manifest and that that's what I'm 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 going against so month of October I'll be fasting um I'll be waging prophetic warfare if you will um against these things I have a bunch of things I'm going to be hitting the streets um I'm going to be reaching out to adults and kids alike um and just spreading you know spreading the word spreading the love of God um and what Jesus has really done for this earth and and what you know what he wants from us like he wants us to spread love but he does also, he also doesn't want us to be soft like just you know pat everything on the back yes we're going to spread love and it's going to be we're not here to throw Jesus glitter on anything um but we are here to do it in in a loving way in a loving fashion and there's a difference because i've seen you know, I've seen some people and I'm not faulting them. I'm not judging them. It's just me discerning, you know, the way they're moving. You know, some people, they just want to, you know, they're, they're, they're aggressive and they're zealous and that's good. But also you can't, 
you can't really Bible thump people because it's, you know, it's kind of like, you know, when you're younger and your parents are telling you to eat your vegetables and you hate those particular vegetables and you don't want to eat them, that they're not going to do it. And if they do it, they're going to do it just because they want to get it done and over with and they're never going to want to come back to that again. So it's, it's a balance. It's a balance of, yes, being firm on the things you're standing on, being firm on the things you're talking about, um, but also, you know, in a loving, compassionate way, that way, you know, it does make people curious. It does draw them near. It, it makes them wonder, you know, if I keep going down this path, where is that going to actually lead me? But if you're banging them over the head, they, they don't want to get banged over the head. They already know you know, from their own common sense that, yes, I'm living right the wrong, you know, life the wrong way. And I'm, I'm living life the wrong way. Everybody is living life, you know, the wrong way in some sense, shape or form. It doesn't mean that we're criminals and that we're, you know, we're out here robbing banks. But in some way, shape or form, we all involve ourselves in sin. We all, you know, do things that are just that are not right. And it could be something as simple as you're driving and you curse the person out because, you know, they cut into your lane and they didn't use their turn signal. Um, you know, it could be something that simple because as God says, you know, sin is sin. God doesn't care. It's, if it's against his rules, it's considered sin. It doesn't matter, like I said, if you rob a bank or it doesn't matter if you've taken a candy bar from the corner store. It's still sin. You're still stealing. And that's how God sees it. And, you know, we have to hold ourselves to a higher standard. And if, you know, if we hold ourselves accountable to ourselves and we also have friends that we could reach out to um, that we could truly trust that can be our accountability partners, that that's that's where that's where it really gets good, because now you can say to that person or those people, hey, this is what I'm planning. Um, this is what I'm doing. I need you to hold me accountable. I need you to, you know, check in on me and make sure thing, things are OK. And, and you know. They'll reach out to you as well. They'll be like, hey, you know, I'm going down this road and, you know, I need to stay on task or, you know, I, I need to make sure that I'm focused or, you know, if you see me steering left, you know, make sure you put me back in the middle. Uh, and, you know, these these things are important. You know, it's just like, you know, when you're going to the gym, you need somebody to spot you when you're picking up that weight or you need somebody to make sure, hey, you know, after I have this workout that I don't go to McDonald's, but I actually eat something that that's going to, you know, boost what I just did as far as, you know, my workout and my regimen and what my, my exercise goals are and everything else. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to, you know, hold you too long here, you know, with, with the uh, storytelling. But again, episode two coming out soon on YouTube. As far as YouTube goes, I still need this many more followers. So that way I can go live with a prayer session over there as well. Um, make sure your notifications are turned on, whether you're on Instagram, whether you're on YouTube, um, also trickled into TikTok and some of it just, you know, transfers over to Facebook because it's linked to my Instagram. So, um, you know, I'm just going to go ahead right now. Um, and if people tap in, um, you know, as, as I'm praying that that's great. Um, if there's anything, you know, for the people that are seeing this later, um, if there's anything that you need prayer for, um, you know, you could, you could put it on the comment line. If it's something that's a little bit more, um, that's a little bit more personal. Um, you know, you could always hit me in the DM. Always, you know, hit me in the DM. Or if it's a little bit long, because, you know, sometimes there's limitations, um, you know, on a DM, you could email me at pocketpastor.19 at gmail. Again, that's pocketpastor.19 at gmail. And, um, you know, you can send me your prayer request there. It doesn't have to be specifically for you. Maybe you're standing in what they call standing in the gap for somebody. Um, where, you know, you, you, you want to bring it to somebody to pray for. Um, and that's what standing in the gap is all about. Somebody has a need and you want to help them out. And, um, you know, that, that's what God calls us to do. God calls us as prayer intercessors to stand in the gap. And, um, you know, be, be there ready, willing, and able to pray for those who not don't know how to pray, but think they don't know how to pray. Like, Prayer is simply a conversation, a conversation similar to what I'm having with you right now. Um, even though it seems like I'm talking to myself, I know and I have faith that people are going to be watching this later, whether it's a day later, a month later, a year later, years later down the road. 
um, you know, it's just a, it's just a simple conversation. You don't have to come to God all puffed up and all, you know, and, and reciting all these scriptures and things like that. God doesn't want that. What God wants to hear is God wants to hear what's inside your heart. God wants to hear, um, those, those things that maybe you don't even reveal to other people. Um, you know, things that, you know, even if you're in a relationship, you know, there's, there's certain things that you just keep inside because whatever reason, you know, it, 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 it makes you feel vulnerable. Um, you don't know how that other person's going to react. Um, but what I can tell you from personal experience is, you know, give it, give it all to God, give it all to God. And again, if he blesses you with somebody in your life or some buddies, um, that you can call accountability partners that, you know, when you have that conversation with them, that number one, they're not going to judge you. Um, that they're also going to take that, take what you've given them and take it to their prayer closet. If they don't have an answer, because sometimes, you know, we, we have knee jerk reactions. We feel the need to answer, but it's also okay, you know, not to have an answer at that moment. But like, you know what? I don't have an answer for this. Um, or I'm not clear about the answer for your situation um, or what I should say about your situation. But I'm going to take it back to my prayer closet and um, I'm going to look for something a little bit deeper. And hopefully that I could come back with, you know, come back to you with with an answer or with maybe some solution that may be able to help you out either way. Um, I see you there, my brother. Thank thank your boys personally from me. For, for signing up. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate every little bit. Every little, little bit counts. My brother, man, I've known this guy. We go back like Saturday morning cartoons and, and the first Star Wars trilogy. And, and I love him with all my heart. So th thank you for tuning in, bro. I love you, man. For real, for real. Um, so, you know, we're going to get this in. Um, you know, we're going to get a prayer session. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to move how the Holy Spirit tells me to move. Um, and you know, whatever he, he prompts my spirit to, uh, pray about, I'm going to pray about it. Um, you know, I have a, um, a very special prayer night coming up this Friday and, uh, we're going to be praying over all the kids that go to school, um, you know, from pre-K to kindergarten, all the way up through high school, all the way up through college and graduate school and postgraduate school and, um, you know, also for those facilities, because schools are schools are just a very spooky time right now. Um, no pun intended, but it's just it's just weird. Um, there's so many agendas and things going on. Um, it's not education. It's more about what things are trying to, you know, press in and, and manipulate, you know, um, manipulate those that are that are that are young and impressionable. So we have to be conscious of that. We have to be conscious of you know, them, you know, these, these certain influences trying to take away parental rights, um, and, and basically just, you know, take our kids away from us, essentially, you know, maybe not so much in the physical sense, but, you know, all the enemy needs to do is cause division in the household. And, um, and, and, you know, that, that's, that's what, you know, that's what they call a foothold. And from the foothold comes a stronghold into the house. So we're just going to go ahead and pray against those things. And, um, you know, again, we're, we're dealing with a, you know, a defeated foe. The, en the enemy has already lost. And, um, you know, and being that he's already lost and being that he already knows he's lost, this is why the enemy is also so very dangerous. Um, you know, think of it as, you know, like in, in, a, in, a, in a game of sports where, you know, the team has like one win and 16 losses, but they're playing a team that's, that's winning and, and that's on their way to the next level to the playoffs or, or, you know, maybe to the championship, that team is dangerous because all they want to do is knock that team out and make them lose so they could get in their psyche and, and make them feel defeated, make them feel, you know, maybe even, you know, injured and physically exhausted. And that's what the enemy tries to do to us. He tries to just get in there and just make us lose even though we're winning. He tries to distract us from the goal that God has given to us. So without further ado, again, um, I'm just going to start this prayer session. And again, if anybody taps in or if you're seeing this later on, God bless you. God bless you for, you know, watching and, and taking some time out of your day or your evening um, to just join into this, 
this live prayer session that that God is just instructing me to do, and you know, I'm just following this following this trail out of obedience. <sighs> But Lord and Heavenly Father, we just we just thank you for this day. We thank you for another day that that you've woken us up. Another day that that we feel that we feel empowered and enabled by by your gift, by your gift of life. You know, we we could focus so many times on all the things that have gone wrong and all the all the trouble that swirls over our head that, that sometimes we take the simple things for granted. The simple things like waking up in, in a bed and you know, maybe waking up to a loved one or, or, or a house that's full of family members or or waking up in a house. You know, some people don't don't they don't have that. Some people, you know, are waking up and, and maybe not even waking up in their own bed, maybe waking up in their you know they they're they're attached to machines because you know they have they have a physical ailment and um you know they have nurses checking on them and you know they may feel abandoned by their family members and and lord we just we thank you for again we thank you for the gift of life we thank you for being the god that you are we thank you for sending your son jesus down to earth to to live a life of 33 years and instruct us fully in those last three years where he gave us a blueprint on on how to navigate all the ups and downs and how to navigate you know against people with you know against enemies and how to navigate people that love us and how to navigate people that are shifty and 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 you know move one way one moment and move another way the other in all those ways, Jesus, you've showed us how to love people. You've showed us how to, you know, you say in scripture that we just, you know, we, we, we take it on one cheek and we, and we take it on the other cheek as well, just to turn the other cheek. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you for everything you've taught us. We thank you for the sacrifices you made. We thank you for the blueprint of leadership, the blueprint of, obedience we thank you for for being charged with crimes that you didn't commit being basically charged for our sins and and being whipped and beaten beyond all recognition to the point of you know almost dying and at that point being being commanded to walk with the cross being told to walk to your very death And even facing death, you still love those that were persecuting you. You still love the ones that were harming you. You still blessed those two criminals that were hanging at your side. Um, the one that reached out and said to remember you, to remember him, and, and you, you promised him a remembrance. You promised him that he would be with you in heaven. Lord, those were the darkest three days when, when you had passed. But you rose again from the dead. You rose again after you went down to hell and snatched, snatched those keys and came back in your, in your heavenly form to, to walk the earth. And in doing so, you still gave us things to follow. And before you ascended to heaven, you left us with the gift of the Holy Spirit, which completes the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that, that, is, that is the Spirit of God that's inside each and every one of us. The Spirit of God that, that resides and, 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 and speaks with us and, and gives us whispers on on instruction and, and prompts our spirit when when we're, we're we're told to move in a certain way whether it's to pray for somebody or reach out to somebody or whatever those instructions may be you left us with our very own personal best friend 
a one that's with us in our darkest hours, a friend that is also with us in our brightest of days to celebrate, our friend that when we don't know how to pray, will pray through us in a heavenly language that will instruct us in a way that we can't, in a way that we can't even imagine, that will give us words and, and downloads from heaven that we don't even, we don't even know where it came from. But we recognize later on that it could only come from you, our Heavenly Father, our Shepherd and our Messiah. Lord, I just want to pray for everyone right now. First and foremost, I want to pray for my brother that's here with me in this chat. My brother that I've known from young and now we're, we're older men and we have families that we've raised and, and lives that we've lived and I just want you to cover him whatever his needs are, whatever his, his vision is for this next phase of his life, that he hears your whispers, that when he goes to sleep tonight, that you give him visions and vis give him dreams of, of what you placed him on this earth for. Let him know that he was chosen for this time. He was chosen for a time such as this. You've given him gifts, gifts upon gifts that, that are, have not even been revealed yet. Lord, reveal to him the way that he can come to you with, with confidence on, on, on how to build a relationship with you, on, on, on how to, to bring complete joy not only to himself, but to his wife and to his two sons. Lord, I pray over those two boys, those two young men that are now in high school and developing so fast in a world that's moving so fast that, that you just put your arms around them, that you put a hedge of protection around them to protect them from anything that may, that may steer them from from the things that they're pursuing, those, those sports that they, that they love to play and that they're so good at, that with all the pressures of, of friends and now with the pressures of schools, just, you know, again, moving these, these agendas around, it's, it's not even about learning like math and science and English and, and history. It's about all these other things that, that tell you, you know, you don't have to be that if you don't want to be that. And, you know, you, you could do this if you want to. And Lord, we just, we just ask that you just keep them on, on that straight path. That, that, you know, that they will have learning curves and they will have ways that they kind of wiggle around because they're learning, you know, how to step out of that boyhood and how to step into manhood. Lord, continue to just guide them and groom them and put, put good people around them, put good friends around them, good, good, good good male friends and good female friends and good counselors and, and, and good family members that would just want, want the best for them with, with no strings attached. But I pray for those things. I pray for those, those that are, you know, those parents that, that have to deal with these school systems now that are, that are trying to remove their rights of being a parent, that are trying to, to, let these kids know that if your parents disagree, you could come to us and we can, and we can make it better, which is just a lie. They're not going to make it better. They're going to divide a family, and we come against that in Jesus' name. We come against anything that tries to divide what God has put together. We, try to come, we come against anything that has, has slipped its way and, and is trying to desensitize those young and impressionable minds to things of this world, those things that are that are twisted and perverted. Those things that would, would have, have these young ones just not, not know what their identity is, not know what their gender is or discard it because they know what it is and feel like they don't have to do that now because that's what's being put in their minds by adults who they should be trusting. We come against those evil and foul and wicked spirits. Lord, just protect them. 
Lord, protect those teachers that know that these things are wrong and feel like they're powerless against them. That they know that they could stand up, not only for the rights of themselves, but for the rights of these children. Because at this point, this is, this is child endangerment. And there's ways that they've maneuvered to get around these certain laws and bylaws. But Lord, your ways always stay the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. You reign yesterday, today, and forever. You don't waver. You don't falter. Your laws are your laws are your laws. And that's why we thank you. And that's why we follow you. Because you're not wishy-washy. There's no, there's no gray matter when it comes to you. We thank you that we can have this, this time of prayer and worship. This time where we could just proclaim your name and just and just let everybody around this area, this area of Bronx, New York, may may this 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 one session be be a shining light in so many dark areas. May it clear out any shadows. May anybody that's walking by this car right now wondering what's going on, may they feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. May they may they be able to be curious about what what they felt when they walked by this car. Lord Jesus, we ask that, that you, you make yourself present in their home or wherever they're going, whether they're going to work or, or they're on their way to a second job. Let, let your presence be known. Let them know that you are real, that you are the true and living God, not the, these other false gods with a lowercase g that the world wants to put upon us to make everything diluted and make it just a one even plane that, you know, as long as you're, you're involved in something, everybody goes to heaven. Lord, you knew these days would come where there's so much information around that you don't know what to believe. But you've given us a book. A book of 66 books that tell us the way to go. The way to go in times of darkness. That you be that, that foot lamp when we can't see anything else around us. That you could be our compass when we're reaching a mountain peak. Lord, I pray for anybody that's seeing this message afterwards. That if they have a, a prayer request that they just that they just go out on a limb, that they, they take a step in faith and go forward and just and just drop it on the line or, or or drop it in drop it in a DM. That that way that prayer request can be prayed over and that your will be done with that request. That whoever sees this later, that whatever they're going through, whether it's, whether it's just a bad day or whether they're going through something, whether they're going through a time of mourning, whether they're, they're on the edge, Father God, with the pressures of, of life all around them, and they feel like that there's an easy out, that easy out is a lie. Their life is too precious. Let them know how precious their life is. Let them know that, that they mean something to somebody, somewhere. That they are important. That they shouldn't listen to those lies of the enemy. That they should untangle themselves from that web that he weaves. That they seek help from a good friend, a good counselor, or somebody that, that they know is, is upright, somebody that, that may even be a follower of you, Jesus. Lord, there's so many things. There's so many things that are going on. People that, that want to halfway step in, into, your, into your walks, that they, they, they think they can earn their way into heaven. 
There's no way to earn your way. You wrote that in scripture. There's no way to earn your way into heaven. You must fully surrender. You must fully surrender yourself to God. And that's day in and day out. Every day you must surrender yourself. Every day, as you said, take up your cross and walk. And some days it's a little bit easier than others. And some days that cross is too heavy to bear. But you are there with us. You are there with us at all times. That all we have to do is call out your name. All we have to do is say, Jesus. All we have to do is call out the name of God and just call for help. It's really that simple. It's really that simple to just call out for you. And continue to call out. Because you've said that you are standing at our, our doorway knocking. Who is going to let you in? May the people watching this, this video, may they, may they open up their hearts and let you in. May they open up their minds and let you in. May they take those those traumas and those those things that are just holding them down. May they let you in and hand them to you. Knowing that you are the help they need. That you are the one that they can partner with. And with that partnership, those things will be removed. Those things may remain, but you'll give them the strength to get through them. Lord, let the people watching this right now know that you're not some genie in a lamp that, that we could rub on three times and we could get our wishes. Let them know that you're one that we can have a true relationship. You call us to have a partnership with you. So that when we pray to you, that those prayers be in line with your will. And when it is in line with your will, that those, those prayers come to reality. Those, those prayers come to fruition. But we must continue to press in. We must continue to not only sacrifice who we are, but we must continue to be obedient. Even in those times where we're, we're questioning what, what those instructions were, just sometimes we must be able to step out in faith and just be like, I don't know what it means, but I'm going to do it because you said so. Because you would never lead us down a path where you would set us up to fail. That is the way of this world. That is the way of the enemy. To lure us in a way that would set us up for failure. But you've never failed. There were hundreds, if not thousands, of counts in the Bible where things were going away that people did not expect. But the way you script it, the way you maneuver, you never fail. And the end result is them winning. The end result is the glory going to you, the Almighty, the Most High God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of the tribe and the nation of Israel. That is the God you are. The God who has a chosen people. And has also grafted people in. Because that's how loving you are. Lord, may those hearing this message right now understand that there is a difference between being his creation and being his child, his creation is something he's made wonderfully. Whether it's a person that he's fabricated and woven by hand and allowed to create over the next nine months, or whether it's a mountain or a tree or, or an eagle in the sky, but to become his child, 
we must devote ourselves to him and to him alone. Lord, give who's ever watching this message the yearning, the thirst, and the hunger to have you be the father, the ruler of their life, that they seek first the kingdom of God, that they seek first your face and your instruction before they go off on their own. And that when they when they fail and when and when they when they go off of your instruction, that they know they could come back to you and they could repent for the mistakes they've made and for the things they've done, and you will continue to love them, and you will throw that mistake into the lake of forgetfulness and allow them to keep moving in the grace and mercy and love that you've given. Lord, I thank you for a time where we could just open up in prayer through technology where we could reach people that are not even near us. We could reach people that are not even present at that time. I thank you for everything you've done. I thank you for everything that you've already done ahead of us, that you're just waiting for us to get there. And I thank you for these present moments, these precious moments where we could just sit with you, talk with you, build a relationship with you, and become closer to you. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, I pray all these things. Amen. So that's all I got for this evening. Um, thank you all for joining in. I was in the car so long I didn't even realize the light cut out. But luckily, I'm uh, I'm parked in front of this street lamp. But um, it's 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 been an honor and a pleasure to um, to have these prayer sessions. Um, I hope that I hope and pray that it blesses someone. Um, you know, if if you know that. You know of someone that you know may need to hear this message or you know have a have a prayer session or have somebody intercede for them or somebody stand in the gap you know please by all means you know send them my way i encourage it um you know not that i'm on this almighty all-powerful prayer warrior but um I have been, you know, I have been blessed and anointed with inter the gift of intercession. So, um, and I just like to pray for people. It's just, it's just what God, God has put on my heart that, you know, I could pray with myself, but I, you know, when, when it comes to praying for people, he just, he just puts that thing in my spirit. He just lights me up and, and, and I love it. So, um, again, thank each and every one of you that have signed in, um, checked out this prayer session uh, there'll be another one on thursday um right here on instagram until i get those until i get all those uh followers on youtube so i could do a live over there we're just going to keep knocking it out over here on instagram the message won't be stopped this mission won't be stopped or deterred in any way shape or form um episode two of pocket pods coming soon i can't reveal what the title is yet or the or the uh the subject matter but i promise you it's going to be a good one and um again to each and every one of you that have signed in today to those that are watching this at a later time i love you god loves you jesus loved you so much that he sacrificed himself but also left us the gift of the holy spirit have a blessed night